Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Coline. We make knitting and crochet and videos on my channel. And today I'm going to show you my preferred method of joining in the round. As you can see, I already cast on some stitches. When I do that for joining the round, I add one more stitch than needed. Normally you would work into that direction, but for joining in the round, it's actually a little bit different. So instead of holding your yarn with the till on the left side, you're actually going to switch them and have your till in the right side so before you join your stitches in the round you always have to check and make sure your stitches are untwisted i didn't really bother doing that for this quick tutorial but it just means that your stitches are always pointing in the same direction as all the other ones so to start joining the round you're gonna knit the first stitch like normal Now there are different ways of joining in the round, technically you are already joined, but to secure my stitch I like to pick up the second stitch on my right hand needle and pull it over the first stitch. So this one is going to go over that first one. This is also why I cast on one extra stitch, like so. Now pull on your little tail to make sure it's secure. And you can continue knitting your work. Um, I take my first stitch as a purl stitch. So when I do ribbing, it counts as a purl stitch. And when I just have to do knitting, it counts as a knit stitch. It doesn't really matter. So this is how your join looks. Now, obviously, you can see a little bit of a difference now because I didn't knit the last stitches. But once you knit one round, it's actually very secure and seamless. This was my quick and easy tutorial on how to join in the round. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And I will see you guys in the next video.